Another footage has been released that confirms the presence of North Korean soldiers in Russia. In the footage taken by a Bariat soldier and circulated on Telegram channels, it can be seen that there are a large number of Korean soldiers in one of the military units in the Primorsky region. It's noted that Korean soldiers were placed in the military unit of the Motorized Rifle Division in the village of Sergeyevka. The soldier shooting the video said, Our allies have arrived from North Korea. We hope this will end the war. The military unit is said to be new in Primorsky region and opened in 2022. It should be noted that a few days ago, images of Korean soldiers undergoing training at a military training ground and being supplied with military supplies were also spread in Primorsky. <laughs> Dmitry Rogozin, the former head of Roscosmos, Russia's national space agency, as well as the Russian-backed head of the occupied part of Zaporizhia Oblast, revealed that the Russian Federation's Black Sea Fleet altered its location due to strikes from Ukrainian naval drones. Rogozin said this in an interview with Moskovsky Komsomolets. If we go back to weapon systems and the modifications that occurred during the special military operation as the Russians refer to the war against Ukraine, the methods of combat use the Black Sea Fleet provides an interesting example. It was forced to modify its place of residence since our massive ships had become easy targets for unmanned enemy boats, he said. Recall on the 1st of February, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported that soldiers of the Group 13 Special Forces Unit of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine destroyed the guided missile corvette Ivanovets, part of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, on the night of the 31st to the 1st of February 2024. On the 4th of August 2023, the Security Service of Ukraine conducted a special operation in Novorossiysk Bay, Russia. An uncrewed surface vessel damaged the heavy landing ship Olonegorsky Goniak, causing a serious breach. Ukrainian intelligence stated that due to Ukrainian attacks on the Russian Navy, the Russians are trying to establish a naval base in Ochamchiri, a town in the Russian-occupied Georgian region of Abkhazia according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. As of the beginning of 2024, Ukrainian forces had disabled approximately 33% of all combat ships in the Russian Black Sea Fleet since the start of the full-scale invasion. Ukraine's remarkable success in the Battle of the Black Sea has had significant practical implications for the wider war. It has disrupted Russian logistics and hindered the resupply of Russian troops in southern Ukraine while limiting Russia's ability to bomb Ukrainian targets from warships armed with cruise missiles. Crucially, it has also enabled Ukraine to break the blockade, the country's Black Sea ports, and resume commercial shipping via a new maritime corridor. As a result, Ukrainian agricultural exports are now close to pre-war levels, providing Kyiv with a vital economic lifeline. The Russian reaction to mounting setbacks in the Battle of the Black Sea has also been extremely revealing and offers valuable lessons for the future conduct of the war. It has often been suggested that a cornered and beaten Vladimir Putin could potentially resort to the most extreme measures, including the use of nuclear weapons. In fact, he has responded to the humiliating defeat of the Black Sea Fleet by quietly ordering his remaining warships to retreat. This underwhelming response is all the more telling given the symbolic significance of Crimea to the Putin regime. In its efforts to destroy Ukraine's statehood, the Kremlin is increasingly forced to rely on foreign labor for its military-industrial complex and now on foreign troops. This demonstrates the inherent weakness of Russia itself, which is unable to fulfill the whims of a president, according to an editorial in the British newspaper, The Guardian. Journalists note that around one million soldiers are believed to have been killed or wounded in Russia's war in Ukraine. In addition to the vast Ukrainian civilian and military toll, average Russian casualties reportedly rose to a new height of more than 1,000. 
200 soldiers a day in September. Russia has four times as many men, but a war described by its fighters as a meat grinder is rapidly diminishing the ranks and using conscripts as a political cost. On some estimates, seven times more Russian soldiers have died since the invasion than Soviet troops died in Afghanistan in a decade. It is noted that Russia's population is four times larger than Ukraine's, but the Kremlin is still forced to import not only weapons but also people. The policy of stimulating the birth rate in Russia has generally failed. The country's population is shrinking and aging, which is why labor migrants have become a common sight in Russian cities. But the pandemic and then this full-scale war upset this balance. Now, the Russian economy lacks about 4.8 million workers and the front in Ukraine only worsens the situation, constantly sucking more and more people out of Russia. The authors of the article emphasize, against this backdrop, the Kremlin has tried to attract foreign mercenaries, enticing citizens of India, Nepal and other countries to military service with money. Now it has reached North Korean soldiers. At the same time, citizens of African countries are being recruited to work at military factories, which became known recently. President Vladimir Putin's bid to annex territory into a greater Russia is being backed by foreign military personnel and workers. It says less about the strength of growing alliances, worrying as they may be, and more about the fundamental domestic problems his country faced even before he launched the invasion that has devastated Ukraine and killed so many of Russia's own citizens. The Guardian concludes, recently the head of the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, stated that about 11,000 North Korean soldiers are undergoing training in the east of the Russian Federation. According to him, these soldiers will be ready for war in Ukraine by November the 1st. Later, South Korean intelligence reported that North Korea would send 12,000 troops to the war in Ukraine, including 1,500 special forces. At the same time, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that he cannot yet confirm these reports.